board game. I'm going to use Miley Cyrus, a current pop culture phenomenon, to connect her to bigger social issues and reinforce the power of storytelling and why it's so important. So, let's start with the definition. As you can see, the origin is pretty scarce. It doesn't get back to who people are as a people, anything to their culture, or say anything about the originators. And the originator of working is definitely not Miley Cyrus. She is very current, she's very cool, she loves to twerk, but is she hashtag about that life? No, she's not. And that's problematic because your, her use of black culture as a mask, as a fad to take it on and off, is a problem. And that's why navigating race and culture is such a big issue. But we have to honor that complexity when talking about Miley Cyrus. She's not someone who is simply just an icon for sexual liberation. And she's not someone who is simply just someone using black culture as an image. She's both. And it's harder to look at her both ways than taking the easier route of categorizing her as either or. So we have to honor that complexity. But what is culture? Culture is a set of defined values, ideas, art, memories, and history for a people. And appropriation is taking that out of context without respect to the culture and history of an entirety of the people. Examples like Halloween costumes aim to make a profit off of an entire people. Minimizing them into one aspect, which is disrespectful, erroneous, and does not give the scope of someone else's entire story. So, someone else's story should not be a marketable commodity, and when we make it such, we're flattening their entire experience and making them into something that they're not. Someone's culture should not be a fashion trend or a fad that can be taken on and off at will, because it's simply not. The cultural appropriation can even go so far as to become blackface, which is a racist and erroneous, disrespectful portrayal of an entire race, as evidenced by all the white people behind me. Everyone is white, I can assure you. But, thankfully and fortunately, racism doesn't usually manifest itself in such blatant, horrible ways. Still, casual racism still matters because it feeds back into systems of oppression that reapply and reaffirm injustice that connects with people throughout the entire world. Still, does talking about this really matter? Is it just a related costume? It might just be a costume, but still, that reifies personal stories of injustice and oppression that affect people across the world. Whether that's stigma, feelings of subordination and injustice, economic impacts such as loss of jobs, these are chronic, lifelong, and often inescapable consequences for people who are used to having their culture and identities dishonored. But what do I do? I hope by giving you impact and insight into what I do in my daily life, you can apply this in what you do, in what you speak, think, and act. So, I like to ask questions, lots of questions. And I hope because I'm curious and coming from a space of love, curiosity, and respect, I hope to be progressive and connect to people on a deeper human level, finding out things about them that I've never known because I've never experienced their culture. And also learn to be quiet. About utilizing the art of listening and tapping into my silence being silent, let someone else tell their story and let me know who they are inside and where they come from. By letting others tell me their lived experiences, they can tell me who they are, rather than me telling or assuming who they are and where they come from. It allows me to connect to them on a deeper level, and sharing our experiences together allows us to show our humanity for each other. I use websites like Tumblr, online magazines like Rookie, and watch television shows like the Melissa Harris Fairy Program, which all reify the importance of the power of storytelling and why it impacts us so well in our career and culture. I also look into my own cultures, whether it's attending Celtic festivals or celebrating Hanukkah every December with my for real brother and my family, I'm able to look into my own culture and celebrate my story, willing to share with people and be open in my everyday life. And I also look to empower people, unlike the women back here, who aren't giving Muslim women a power to embrace their life, or Miley Cyrus, by using black women as props, she's not letting someone honor their own complexity of their story. Honoring complexity is so important to me. So, I encourage you guys to talk to each other. Let's talk to each other, because celebrating our cultures and celebrating our differences helps us become united as one. Thank you.